Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to back up documents to your Google Drive. I am following along with the written instructions that will be provided for you as well. But step one is to log into your Google account. I'm already in the assumption. You know how to do that. Step two is you're going to go to your Google Drive. So you're going to click on the gear icon at the very top right hand corner. And that is your grid where you can go to all your different applications within your Google account. I'm going to go ahead and click on the gear and then I'm going to click on Drive. And you'll notice it opens into a new tab. Step three is to create a folder. This is just to help you organize your backup documents. Now this is not, this is obviously optional, but this will help you keep all your documents in one particular folder. So you're gonna click on new and then folder. And if you're following along with the written instructions, it says backup folder and then the date. And this is just again a quick reference for you, if I can spell, um, for you the future. But this is just, a way to keep organized. I'm going to go ahead and click create. Again, this is step three in the written instructions. Now if we go to step four, it says check your upload settings. This is just an additional step and also a training tool just to understand what your current settings are. This is something you can customize so I can't tell what settings you have. So I clicked on the gear on the right hand side and then I'm going to go ahead and click settings. You will also notice right here it says convert uploads. We want this to be unchecked why I would suggest you have this unchecked, and you can go back and change this later. But the reason is, if you're uploading a PowerPoint, a Microsoft Office PowerPoint into Google Drive, and you automatically change it to a Google Doc format, you will lose some of the bells and whistles that you had. If you have it unchecked, then it will stay that same format, and then later on you can download it into your Microsoft Office product if that's something you choose. So it's just a good way to make sure those files are don't lose some of your formatting that you probably worked really hard on. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it unchecked and I'm going to hit done. Then you will also notice when we go to step five, we are currently in the new Google Drive interface. If you are not, and I'll show you later how to change that, but if you're in the new Google Drive interface, you can also see that we can locate this folder right here and I could double click it and I'm automatically in this folder. The other way that it's demonstrated in the written notes is to click on this drop down arrow on the left hand side, scroll down and you will see the folder backup folder 422. I can double click it the same way and you'll know that I'm in that folder because you'll notice nested my drive inside this folder. Just for your knowledge, the reason why we're doing this is we're actually gonna upload your files and folders directly in here. You don't have to do it this way obviously, but this is one of the most efficient ways because then you don't have to move them later. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on new and again, we're on step five, and I can either choose upload a file or folder. Obviously, a folder will be much faster and more efficient because more than likely you have your documents organized on your desktop or on your documents folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on folder upload, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I think I have a folder here I can upload to demonstrate. And yeah, I'm going to look for it. Okay, it's right there. It's called the check job. I'm going to go ahead and click upload. Once that's doing this, you can see this at the very bottom. Um, it is currently uploading 5 out of 23 documents. And you'll also notice it's directly in that folder. So it's just kind of like your own little personal drive from your backup folder. I'm going to give it a minute to upload, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can double click and see what's in there. You'll notice then all these documents, since we changed our upload settings, will not lose any of this formatting because we chose the upload settings to do so. And then if I wanted to down the road download this um, document, I can do so and have it right there anywhere. That's kind of the purpose of an up for a backup. The other thing I want to make note of is note two where it regards, I'm excuse me, note one, how to switch from old drive to new drive so you can follow along these written instructions. If you go to, I'm going to switch accounts here real quick, Tony the Tiger, which is one of my demo accounts, is currently in the old drive. So you can tell it looks different, a little outdated, but you can switch to the new drive by clicking on your gear and experience the new drive, and it will change you to the new Google Drive interface, which you might as well get used to if you're not there already, because it's going to come. So, and then also in the written instructions, it says pictures and images can be stored in your Google Drive. However, it'll take up a lot of your space, so you might want to look at other cloud-based websites such as Shutterfly, Flickr, Picasso Web. There's many, many, many options out there.
to store your Google Doc or your pictures. Also, if you are worried about quality control within your pictures, if you're like a big Photoshop person, you really like your high quality, you might want to look at just dragging and dropping to a flash drive or an external hard drive. For the most normal people like me and you that maybe don't mess with all that, then Shutterfly and, and other cloud-based websites will be just good enough for you as well. So if you have any questions, you may contact the technology department and we'll be more than happy to help you regarding backing up your documents into Google Drive. Thank you.